often one of the most requests I get is how to improve my speaking from on the stage, on the platform. But one of the things that people really want to know is, what should I never ever do on the platform? So today, I'm going to give you five things to never do while you're speaking. Stick around. Hey, it's a trigger, Rich Bontrager. Welcome back to another Leaders and Communicators. I'm sharing from my 25 years as a public speaker and leader broadcaster. I've had the microphone on me over well over thousands of times, and I love speaking. But also what I love to do is help people go to the next level, grow their skills and abilities. No matter what level you're at, I want you to defy the odds and knock it out of the ballpark and go to the next level. So today I have five steps to never do on stage. Often I'll coach you up, I'll build you up, I'll tell you what to do. But today I'm going to tell you what not to do so you don't walk off the stage ever and go, I kind of blew that one up, didn't I? As we go through it today, give me a like, give me a share, give me a comment, let me know what you're thinking. Of course, hit that little bell and never miss another leaders and communicators so I can help you out. Five things to never do and the things I'm sharing I have done. So learn from my mistakes and turn your game around and do better. All right. Number one is don't rely on your notes or on your iPad. This is a big one. I have seen people recently turn their whole body to the screen and talk to the screen and you're not engaging the crowd. You're not doing anything. You are looking at the back wall and the back of your head is pointing at the crowd and you might as well just turn off the lights and go home. If you're going to use a screen, which I recommend visuals a lot, and I coach you on visuals, let the screen speak behind you and know what the screen is as a reinforcer, but do not turn to it and not engage with it. And for sure, don't read it word for word, all right? You should be engaged with the audience. Also, the same thing with your iPads and your tablets. Do not do this and have your tablet it blocks your face as you're reading it up loud. You're going down low with it. You're not looking at the audience. And here's another thing. When you read verbatim off your iPads and things and try to scroll and keep up with it, technology is going to fail you. You're going to lose place. It's going to have a chime go off in the middle of it. I've seen it happen. Someone gets an email whoop, right in the middle of your presentation, right on your iPad, and it catches your microphone. Don't do it. Also, you should know your message. Now, you do want to have your beginning and your ending, whether it's on three by five cards, whether it's some sort of way of knowing your beginning and your landing. I always recommend you have those things written down, but do not use a script. Do not use an iPad to kind of stay glued on that. Free yourself up to share your knowledge and engage the audience. So don't rely on your notes and on that screen. Just don't. Number two is don't be a poser, all right? Be authentic. This was driven home recently at a speaking engagement I was at. We had a panel of different speakers. We all took turns, and at the end, we had an open Q&A. The comment came from an individual in the crowd that's seen hundreds of these type of presentations. The comment was, this is one of the most authentic speaking panels I have ever seen. You told us the good, the bad, you coached us up, but you were very, very authentic. That's something it takes a while to get used to doing because we're nervous. We're worried about what we're going to say, how we're going to say it, how we're going to look. Do we have the degrees and the expertise to, to, to look so cool? Don't worry about it. People would rather have you be you. Tell them what you know, what you don't know. And be authentic because it breaks that glass and now you're having a conversation. You're not having a speech. Authentic speakers rock way better than ones that are trying to pose. And people can tell when you're posing, both on stage and off the stage. What you see is what you get. Lead well. Lead effectively. Speak powerfully. But don't be a poser. Number three is don't speak monotone. Oh, please don't be a robot. Use this voice. Part of public speaking is about the voice that you have and learn how to use it. 
go high, go low. If you have an intimate moment, bring the voice down, drop down that volume, and do it in a way that's subtle, cautious, empathetic, and learn this is your voice. It's like a dramatic tool that you can use. If you're excited and passionate, let it fly. Let people hear about it. This is the coolest thing in the world. If you had a heartbreaking moment, let people know about it. Don't speak in that monotone voice where everything is the same, it's predictable, and you're trying to control everything around you. Again, that's not authentic. That's not how we talk. And it's not how people respond. So break that monotone. Deliver well again, but make sure you use your voice. It's your gift. It's your tool. Like a musician with their instrument, they practice and practice to make sure they get the best out of that French horn. They know exactly what they're doing with that trumpet or with that guitar. Learn how to use your voice in an amazing way, but don't be monotone. Number four in our top five lists of what not to do as a speaker is don't sell, 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 and sell from the platform. Give it away. You are there to help, equip, and encourage, and empower people. That's about giving away of what you have. Now, I'm not saying don't have a product table out back. I'm not saying don't close with some great deal or something you want to take them to the next level with that you can't do on stage, that's okay. But if every point, every illustration, every story takes you to, and I have another great book here, by the way, and I have another great whatever it is, you're missing it. Give away more than you get. Give away information. All my slides that I use, all my visuals, I tell people, this is yours. This is free. Take a snapshot of it, write down the comment, it's free. Use this stuff to help other people to defy the odds and go deeper and go further. People will respond to that, but if you're selling all the time, again, they'll check out. They came to grow and go to the next level, not to have someone sell them forever. And number five and recently I heard someone do this. Number five is don't ever speak ill will of another speaker. Now, you may not agree with those speakers. You may not think they're the best or the topic or whatever. That's for you to keep locked up in your head and in your mind. But speaking is a small fraternity of people. You may think there's thousands of speakers, and there are. But the speaking world has got a lot smaller with the power of Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, just this week, I ran into several people that I knew on other platforms and I'm now finding on other platforms and we're connecting in other circles because of other connections. I didn't go seeking them. Oops, they just happened to be in the same group. People will be in the same room. Speakers that you speak of will end up being in the same platform someday. One thing you want to do is always build people up and do not run other speakers down. It will come back to bite you. Always speak at least well of somebody, or if you can't say anything about another speaker, whether you're jealous, angry, frustrated, you don't agree with, just don't say anything. But if you do have speakers that you agree with, you have speakers that you admire, speakers that you partner with, yeah, give them the attaboy, give them the like on their Facebook, give them a yes, a, a, a chat back, whatever. But don't ever speak ill will of another speaker, it will affect you in the long run. Those are five things to never do on stage and never do as a public speaker. Is there something that I missed, something you think would be one of those top fives, never, ever, ever do? I would love to hear your thoughts on what not to do as a public speaker. And again, subscribe to my channel. I'm here to help you, to equip you, to take you to the next level, to defy the odds in life leadership and public speaking. I would love to engage with you and support you in your efforts. This is not a monologue. This is an interactive platform here. So please take advantage and reach out. I would love to support you. Until next time, I'm the Trigger, Rich Bond Trigger. God bless. Have a great week.